Alright guys welcome back with me with another YouTube video. So today I'll talking about One Piece Chapter 1001. So, make sure to stay tuned for that. If you do enjoy seeing this anime reviews and want to keep them coming the best thing you can do is smash that like button and if you haven't be sure to subscribe and this is crucial hit that notification bell or you will miss future anime videos. Cover request, Jinbei resting luxuriously on a jellyfish bed. This time we are still on the cover request. At least in the next three chapters, One Piece seems to be on the cover of the request drawn by Oda at the request of fans who sent letters to Shuisha's office in Japan. But I hope that in a few chapters, we will enter into a new cover story. This time the cover request came from a person whose pen name is Tashikia and he asked Oda to draw Jinbei relaxing on a jellyfish. Jellyfish are among the animals that can live in the deep oceans and Fishman Island is at 10,000 meters below sea level. If Jinbei is bored, he can relax on top of these jellyfish. Speaking of Jinbei, he is dealing with who's who and his crew. Hopefully in chapter 1002 we can see their situation. At the beginning of the chapter, we saw Kaido who was overly damaged by the Red Rock Luffy released in chapter 1000. Red Rock is layered with high-level armament or Ryuo which is indeed capable of injuring Kaido. And it made Zoro and the others surprised to see Luffy's progress. Along with Big Mom who was angry about Luffy talking about becoming the Pirate King, Kaido saw Luffy in a higher degree and was likened to some of the great pirates who had fought him. Kaido wonders how far Luffy will go and will he match the people Kaido imagined? Odin was clear, he was Kaido's nemesis. Even though his name was not as big as Roger, Whitebeard and Zebek, Odin would have imagined him. Then Shanks, I'm pretty sure they've clashed as well, especially talking about their battle incident when Kaido was about to go to Marineford. Of course, as a fellow Yonko, Shanks' strength was recognized by Kaido. Roger and Whitebeard are two of the strongest and most respected pirates, it's only natural that they have fought Kaido and are recognized by him. Roger may have clashed with Kaido while in God Valley and Whitebeard, his fellow crew of the Brutal Rocks, they both fought each other. While Rocks D. Zebek, he formed the Rocks Pirates in Hachinosu, which was filled with brutal pirates there, including Kaido. Since Zebek was the captain, he was definitely the strongest among them and it was possible that he had defeated Kaido at Hachinosu in the past. Then why aren't there Garp and Sengoku? Well, because Kaido sees Luffy from a pirate's point of view, all Kaido imagines is that only five people are pirates. But if Kaido looked at the people who fought him as a whole, maybe Garp and Sengoku would be included in Kaido's count. After that, Kaido started attacking with Thunder Bagua and hit Luffy. Speaking of this attack, there are significant differences between the manga and anime versions. In the manga, Kaido's speed is the key to Thunder Bagua's attack which has very strong damage. But in the anime version, Kaido didn't fly at all and instead just swung his iron club as hard as possible. If you watch the Luffy vs Kaido anime in Curry, Kaido hit Luffy who attacked him with King Kong gun without having to run. To me, it really is unnecessary and nicer non-canon scene whereas if Kaido hit Luffy with Thunder Bagua speed instead of hitting as hard as possible like hitting a baseball. Because he was so fast and Kaido's distance was close to Luffy, Luffy was also hit by a Thunder Bagua attack like Curry, even though he had seen it with a high level of observation hockey and finally Luffy was slightly injured. Big Mom came with Heavenly Fire, but Zoro moved and cut Prometheus Flames with Foxfire style Homurasaki. Indeed, since he was in Punk Hazard, Zoro was amazed by Kinemon's fire cutting technique and here he succeeded in doing it. Zoro can imitate Kinemon's attack, it reminds me of the baboons on Kuragana Island who can imitate what humans do. Kaido came to Luffy again, but Trafalgar Law saved him with shambles. But Law instead scolded Luffy for ordering him around. Kid mocked Law, but at the same time Big Mom attacked the three of them with three heavenly fireballs. Luffy told Law and Kid that if anyone escaped from the enemy's attack was a loser, Kid initially didn't want this stupid contest, but Luffy thought the two rivals were losers because they refused. Finally the three of them just stood there and there was a gag face that is characteristic of Wano, then the three fireballs exploded near them and annoyed Zoro because they were playing around at times like this. Kaido told Lin Lin to step back because he wanted to see their action. Lin Lin knew that testing strong people was Kaido's hobby, so he was annoyed when he was told to back off. 
Zoro who wore a bandana because he got serious and Killer started an attack on Kaido, Zoro used the Purgatory Onigiri which he used to defeat Kamazo at Wano, and Killer uses the beheading claws of his claw called Punisher. Kaido was hit by their attacks, but only a little damage to him. Even so, Kaido praised them and Zoro was annoyed that he had not let go of Enma's full power earlier. Luffy, Kid and Law appear now, they are starting to use their strongest techniques. Kid who formed the robot Punk Rotten out of irons, Luffy used Gear Forth and Law controlled the lands in the room and began to attack. Kaido was so excited to see the strength of the three of them and took the attacks of Punk Vice from Kid, Kong Gun from Luffy, and Tact from Law until he was knocked to the ground. Big Mom began to go upstairs with Zeus, then unite Napoleon with Prometheus and form Cognac. Meanwhile Kaido who was buried turned into a giant dragon and flew in the sky with Lin Lin. Kaido and Lin Lin were eager to strike back and would take everything from them once they lost. And whoever wins this battle then they will be even closer to the throne of Pirate King. What I highlighted the most in this chapter is Kaido who is passionate about this battle. We remember that when fighting nine red scabbards before, Kaido was also in excited mode after he was hit hard in the form of a dragon in chapter 992. Kaido in this excited mode was the one who defeated nine red scabbards directly. Now, the excited Kaido will start to counterattack Luffy and the others with Big Mom. We can assume Luffy and the others will have a hard time later. But Kaido has a trauma mode as well, which is when Odin's wounds on him start to open again and make him weaker. It happened at the start of his fight with the previous nine red scabbards. If Kaido went into trauma mode, it would be easier to fight him, but now Kaido is in excited mode and it will be a very difficult fight later. So that's it all review chapter 1001. Thank you for Manga Plus, Opwikia, Arlong Park Forum and Google as my reference. Thank you to those of you who are always looking forward to my chapter reviews. I will receive your criticism, suggestions and opinions well. Don't forget to like and share this video. Too bad next week One Piece is break, so see you in chapter 1002 at the end of the month.